it's instinct when you go out there. He's gonna do whatever it takes. He doesn't care who's in his way. When you have the athletic ability and you can mix it with some good coaching, you can really be dangerous. And he's going to try to outplay everybody on the field because he knows that he has a lot of pressure on him being the top guy on the team. His care factor, his ability to prepare is unbelievable, but then he looks at what he deems that he doesn't do well and makes him a priority to get better. That's what makes him a great one. A lot of running backs kind of has a one deal or, you know, two. But Melvin's the type of guy that he has all three. He has the power, he has the speed, and he can make you miss. He's a really instinctive, explosive runner. He's got a very good eye for a seam. We're going through the trenches and seeing that one-on-one -on -one matchup, you know, as a running back, that's what you pray for. When you make that guy miss the score, man, that's a great feeling. He wants to break every single time he gets the ball. You can have a hole, and you can have a running back see a hole and hit the hole, but if whoever's filling the gap gets there with you, there's a good chance they can take you down. He's just got that extra couple fractions of burst that get him to that hole and through that hole faster than most guys. Breaking the big runs, it just comes with confidence, comes with what the guys do up front. Gordon, look at this kid! Holy cow! He's one of the best running backs in the country. We're going to go out here and we're going to block our tail off. You got receivers, they're blocking all the way downfield. All those guys are working to help me make those big runs. I've always felt I'm a playmaker. You know, I've always felt that confidence. I can make plays, I can make big runs. It was just finishing. I don't like to get caught. I used to get caught a lot when I was younger. Once he's running downhill, it's really impossible to catch him. Melvin and the word character would be, you know, one and the same. He is a very, very intelligent kid, and he has positioned himself very well. He wants to do the internships. He wants to better his mind. Uh, he's way smarter than I am, trust me. We had this, this program here called Beyond the Game, and you know, it just opened my eyes to a lot of things and just really said it's a lot of life after football because it won't last forever. He takes a lot of pride in football, but he takes a lot of pride in if football doesn't work. He holds himself at such a high level of accountability on the field, off the field. That's great for young kids to see. It's just contagious, um, and that's, that shows leadership skills. If you just feel like you, you arrived, you know, and you got the ability, you don't have to work. You know, you feel like you're the best player on the team. I don't have to do this, I don't have to do that. You know, that, that won't help you at the end. That's why I'm successful and, and my teammates are as well. You know, we got great athletic ability, but we also work hard and we push each other and I feel that really separates us from other players. It's very exciting to have a teammate that actually can go for the Heisman. Obviously, everybody knows he wants it. The Heisman chances are there, and it would be nice to win. At the end of the day, I feel, you know, the Big Ten Championship, that's more important. If we play well and we get there, the Heisman and everything, it'll, it'll fall in line. When you've got a guy who's averaging 200 yards a game against bowl subdivision competition, it's really hard to argue that he shouldn't be in that conversation. I want Melvin to think about it because I know it's not going to drive him negatively. It's going to push him. It was one day um, I was just sitting back at home, you know, just thinking, and I had texted him like a long text message. I said, bro, I want you to win that Heisman so bad. I'm willing to do whatever it takes because I feel like you deserve it. You came back for us. You didn't think about yourself. He could have easily left last year. It was a really tough decision for me, knowing you have the chance that not many people have to come out and, and be successful and live your dream out. I really didn't feel it was the time to come out yet. What we can do as a team by him giving back to us and coming back and we give him what he wants. I told him, you know, let's, let's go. Let's get it. But first, let's get this Big Ten championship. We're going to look back on this, and, and I want him to look back on his, his senior year and be like, we did that. talk about the elite speed, the elite burst, the elite vision, I think he's going to have a great career in the NFL.
I want to get picked in the first round. That would be special. That would mean a lot to me, to all my coaches, my teammates, everyone that just pushed me to be better. Teams are really, really going to love him. Once he gets there, they're going to see his work ethic. He's the type of guy who can try to keep his body right. You know, obviously, running backs, they take a lot of hits, but Melvin's the type of guy where if he can avoid a hit, then he's going to try to make him miss. He'll walk into an NFL team and he'll change him for the better the first day he's there. I think he's better than some running back at the pro level now because I know his work ethic and I know the type of guy that he is. I want to be special. I don't want to just be special here. I want to be special there too and be successful on that level. Maybe one day win a Super Bowl, you know, get in the Hall of Fame. I mean, that's a lot of talk right now and it's so far away, but it, it would be so special.